Our Psalter is Psalm 62, verses 5 through 12. It's found on page 787, and I believe it's in our bulletin as well. I'll read the regular type and then ask that you respond with the bulletin. For God alone, my soul waits in silence. For my help is coming from God, who alone is my God and my salvation. My fortress, I shall not be shaken. On God rests my deliverance and my honor. He, my mighty rock, my refuge is in God. Trust in God at all times, O people, for I shall depart before God, who is a refuge for us. Those of low estate are but a breath. Those of high estate are an illusion. In the balances they go. They are together lighter than breath. Put no confidence in exhortation. Set no vain hopes on robbery. The purchase increase do not set your heart on them. Once God has spoken, twice I've heard this. Power belongs to God. And you, O oh Lord, belong to steadfast love, for you repay all according to their word. Today's Old Testament reading comes from the book of Jonah, chapter 3, verses 1 through 5 and 10. The word of the Lord came to Jonah a second time, saying, Get up, go to Nineveh, that great city, and proclaim to it the message that I tell you. So Jonah set out and went to Nineveh, according to the word of the Lord. Now Nineveh was an exceedingly large city, a three days walk across. Jonah began to go into the city, going a day's walk, and he cried out, Forty days more and Nineveh shall be overthrown. And the people of Nineveh believed God. They proclaimed a fast, and everyone, great and small, put on sackcloth. When God saw what they did, how they turned from their evil ways, God changed his mind about the calamity that he had said he would bring upon them, and he did not do it. Today's epistle comes from 1 Corinthians chapter 7, verses 29 through 31. I mean, brothers and sisters, the appointed time has grown short. From now on, let even those who have wives be as though they had none, and those who mourn as though they were not mourning, and those who rejoice as though they were not rejoicing, and those who buy as though they had no possessions, and those who deal with the word as though they had no dealings with it. For the present form of this world is passing away. Today's gospel comes from the book of Mark, chapter 1, verses 14 through 20. Now, after John was arrested, Jesus came to Galilee, proclaiming the good news of God, and saying, The time is fulfilled, and the kingdom of God has come near. Repent, and believe in the good news. As Jesus passed along the Sea of Galilee, he saw Simon and his brother Andrew casting a net into the sea, for they were fishermen. And Jesus said to them, Follow me, and I will make you fish for people. And immediately they left their nets and followed him. As he went a little farther, he saw James, son of Zebedee, and his brother John, who were in their boat, mending the nets. Immediately he called them, and they left their father Zebedee in the boat with the hired men and followed him. This is the word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. 